Hi, I'm Johnny Henderson, and you are watching a live different moment. How do you view yourself? Do you believe that your talents, abilities, and personality even are like a statue set in stone and unable to move or change? Or do you see yourself as an ever-growing vine, always moving and changing and attaching yourself to new things? This single idea, this belief that who you are simply just is, or who you are is accumulation of things that are constantly growing and changing, makes a huge difference. Did you know that your brain can change? Everything about you, your intelligence, your personality, your behaviors, the way you react in a certain situation can all change. There's this stream of study in neuroscience that talks specifically about this, and it is called neuroplasticity. Let me explain it to you like this. Imagine you're going off-roading in a Jeep. It's lifted, it's got big mud and tires, it's got the whole four wheel, four by four thing. You're off-road ready. The forest that you're in has never been driven through by another all-terrain vehicle, so you are the very first person creating this new off-road pathway. After the first time through the forest, it'd be clear that something had passed through. There's broken sticks and maybe a mud trail left behind. But if you were to travel that path in your Jeep again, the path would become stronger. Eventually, the path would become clear and obvious and probably a lot easier to drive through. Our brains are the forest and the thoughts are the Jeep. The more we think and act a certain way, the more that pathway in our brain becomes stronger and easier to access. For example, if every time something bad happened to me, I got angry, that anger pathway in my brain would become very strong. Like a super highway of anger. It would be very easy for me to get angry. Now this is the cool part. The beauty of neuroplasticity is we can always change these pathways in our brain, which makes the opportunity for us to change pretty much endless. A really cool neuropsychologist, Rick Hansen said, what flows through the mind sculpts the brain. Like a small stream flowing down a mountain, it gets a little deeper and wider and stronger every year as it erodes away the earth around it. Our brains are very similar. The more that we practice, the more that we do one thing, the stronger our brains will become in that area. Currently, my wife and I are in the middle of renovating our new house. And I mean new by our standards, seeing as the place was pretty run down and smelled like dog urine. I didn't know we purchased a pet sanctuary. Now you have to understand for me, doing renovation and construction-y type things is not exactly my forte. Is this how you hold a saw? Oh, it's a knife? Oh, still got some peanut butter on it. But being a new homeowner with financial restrictions, I am forced outside of my comfort zone. As I learn these new things, who I am is changing. My brain is growing and adapting to the things that I'm learning. I feel like a new man. Look at me, I'm a handyman. Malcolm Gladwell in his book, The Outliers, challenges the reader with this idea of the 10,000 hour rule. He suggests that if you spend 10,000 hours doing one specific thing, you will become a master in that area. He suggests that all-star athletes and musicians and great innovators became that way not because of innate talent they were born with, but because of the energy and time and effort they put into their craft. Thomas Edison put it this way, success is 99% perspiration. Oh, success stinks. This is a big idea because it opens up opportunities for who you're able to become. For somebody watching, this might mean the realization of the potential that you have to overcome your addiction. For somebody else, this idea might mean that you don't have to give in to the belief that you'll never be good at something. Leave today with this understanding. Your skills and talents as a human being are not something simply handed over to you at your moment of birth, 
but they're something that can constantly change and develop as you practice and challenge yourself. You can learn anything. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this with a friend, and tune in for more Live Different moments as we explore topics about things that are meaningful to you.